Welcome along fellow time travelers. This is Scott Cardinal. In this micro lesson, we're going to travel to Los Angeles and check out the homes on North Sweetser where actor Johnny Depp lives. The reason for micro lessons such as this is to celebrate the homes, gardens, and workspaces of creative people throughout history. And it's also to help people understand what the architectural and design elements are when they look at buildings. Also, studying architecture and design can help people increase their powers of observation that could be used in other areas of their lives. So, let's get rolling. During the Depp vs. Heard trial in 2022, people all around the world learned that Johnny Depp owned many of the houses on the same street as his main residence. And also, as a result of the trial, everyone around the world suddenly found out where Johnny Depp lived. But then again, that information was always available, especially if you lived in Los Angeles. I've spent a lot of time living in or visiting LA, and everybody knew where Johnny Depp lived. It was never a secret. So with all that being said, let's check it out. In case you don't know, West 1st Street, which is just south of Beverly Boulevard, divides South Sweetser and North Sweetser. And North Sweetser continues north all the way up to Sunset Boulevard. And then on the other side of Sunset Boulevard, North Sweetser continues. But it only includes a bunch of houses, including Johnny Depp's mansion, which used to be accessed many decades ago directly from Sunset Boulevard. Now, there are a couple of different things that people say about this neighborhood. One is that Johnny Depp owns all of the houses, and then another is that he owns five of them. So let's investigate and see if we can get down to the truth. Once you cross Sunset Boulevard, there is a restaurant on the left-hand side, and there is a business on the right. Driving up this private road, the first house on the right is 1460 North Sweetser. Built in 1948, this single-family residence has roughly 3,300 square feet and three bedrooms. Today, it is worth $3.3 million. It last sold in 1986 for $320,000. In early 2011, the house was listed to rent for roughly $5,000 per month. So unless there's some kind of fancy finagling going on that normal people aren't privy to, it's safe to assume that Johnny Depp does not own this house. But it's still an attractive looking building. It's three stories high, it includes a two-car garage on the ground level, and the house is painted white with a sleek modern design. There are large windows and terraces, and a portion of the roof is flat, which allows it to be repurposed as a terrace, which offers a grand view of the surrounding area. The road then curves to the left, and there is an old gate that may or may not still be in use. That was for the driveway that belonged to the house that Johnny Depp now owns. And that driveway was in use when the entrance was on Sunset Boulevard. So this may have been a back way for the cars to go out. Now driving further up this road on the right hand side is 1466 North Sweetser. Built in 1927, this single family residence has roughly 3,400 square feet and it has four bedrooms. Today it is worth $3.7 million. It last sold in 1995 for $670,000. Prior to that, it sold in 1993 for $587,000. And prior to that, it sold in 1987 for $547,000. So it is safe to assume that, as of the time of this recording, Johnny Depp owns this house. And as you can see, there's a really nice two-story Italian villa style house with natural colored stucco and really pretty green window frames. There are red barrel tiles on the roof and a garage with old wooden doors. The road then curves far to the right and the next house to be seen is 1472 North Sweetser. Built in 1977, this single family residence has roughly 3,000 square feet and has three bedrooms. Today, it is worth $4 million. It last sold in 2006 for $2.6 million. Prior to that, it sold in 1996 for $690,000. And prior to that, it sold in 1991 for $750,000. And prior to that, it sold in 1989 for $680,000. So it is safe to assume that, as of the time of this recording, Johnny Depp owns this house. And as you can see, it's three stories in height, which includes the garage on the ground floor level. And the stucco is presently painted yellow. There is a terrace on the second floor that is large enough for a small table, and it's accessed from double doors. The house is entered by ascending a sweeping and winding staircase that's lined with red bricks. The road then curves to the left, and there can be seen 1475 North Sweetser. Built in 1926, this single-family residence has roughly 2,800 square feet, and it has five bedrooms. 
Today it is worth $3.35 million. It was last sold in 1979 for $132,000. And there are no records of previous sales. So it is safe to assume that, as of the time of this recording, Johnny Depp does not own this house. This two-story house has a Mediterranean style with exposed wood beams and window frames around the windows that open out, and you can see that there are wide wrought iron planters, and the roof has red barrel tiles. I really love the entranceway. You see how it's reminiscent of a small tower. And all the way to the right, you can see a two-car garage. There is also a two-story building with large wooden doors at the bottom, and there's a room upstairs that's accessed from a staircase. Now going further north, the road then forks. Now if you look to the right, there's 1480 North Sweetser. Built in 1976, this single-family residence has nearly 3,000 square feet, and it has three bedrooms. Today it is worth a whopping $5 million. It last sold in 2008 for $3.65 million. Prior to that, it sold in 2003 for just under $1.5 million. So it is safe to assume that, as of the time of this recording, Johnny Depp owns this house. And as you can see, it's two stories in height, it has smooth walls, and it's been modernized with a glass garage door and a front door, and there are steel railings and a flat roof. The house extends far back, it has great views of the surrounding area, and it has a swimming pool. Also, at the very end of this cul-de-sac is 1482 North Sweetser. Now, this seems to be an empty lot. And there are no sales records, so I have no idea what it is currently worth or what it was ever worth. It's probably owned by one of the neighbors or somebody's holding out and they'll sell it someday. On the far left of this cul-de-sac is 1498 North Sweetser. Built in 1931, this single-family residence has roughly 2,400 square feet and it has four bedrooms. Today it is worth nearly $3.4 million dollars. It was put up for sale in 2008 for $1.5 million, but then it was taken off the market. It was last sold in 2005 for $2 million. Bucks. Prior to that, it was sold in 1998 for roughly $1.5 million. And prior to that, it was sold in 1997 for $875,000. That's pretty cool. I mean, imagine, you bought this in 1997, you paid eight hundred and seventy-five grand, and then you sell it a year later for $1.45 million. I'm assuming whoever bought it probably went in there and really fixed the place up. But interestingly, even though it sold in 1997 for 875 grand, it sold in 1991 for just over a million bucks. So I don't know what's going on here. The prices seem to go up and down with this house. But either way, it is safe to assume that, at the time of this recording, Johnny Depp owns this house. But it's really pretty. It's got a Mediterranean style. It's three stories in height. There's a two-car garage with wooden doors. There's tall windows with wooden frames. And there's even a room all the way at the top, which I guess makes it four stories high, even though it's just that one room. And it has round-headed windows and a balcony made with wood and wrought iron railings. And there's a green canopy. And then looking to the left, you can see a geometrically shaped balcony that is accessed by two sets of double doors. And there is a sweeping set of steps that reach all the way down to the street. And at the top is the entry to the house that's located within an area of the house that is reminiscent of a tower. Now leaving this cul-de-sac, you could see the former service entry to 1486 North Sweetser, which is where Johnny Depp lives. And today, that is the main entry to the estate. What's interesting about 1486 North Sweetser is that when you go to websites like Realtor.com or Zillow and places like that, the information is all incorrect. I mean, it's all over the map. The number of bedrooms, when it was built, the size of it, none of that stuff seems to be right. For example, many of the sites show that the date the house was completed was 1922, but that's incorrect. The house wasn't completed until 10 years later. But the single family residence has about 7,400 square feet, and when it was built, it had seven bedrooms. And it's probably safe to assume it still has seven bedrooms. And today, it is estimated that Johnny Depp's house is worth anywhere from 8 million bucks all the way up to 12 million. So if all of my assumptions are correct, then yeah, it does look like Johnny Depp owns five of the houses in this neighborhood. Interestingly, it has been said that at one point, Johnny Depp was making plans to build a series of tunnels underneath the properties in order to be able to more easily access them. It's unclear if he ever did that, but unfortunately, now that the whole world knows where he lives as a result of this trial, it doesn't seem like living on North Sweetser will be able to continue to offer Johnny Depp and his family 
the privacy and security that they deserve to enjoy. In fact, living on a private street like this seems to be a very serious security risk. I mean, honestly, there's only one way in and out of this neighborhood. And so, as sad as it is, it probably is in his best interest to not spend as much time there as he used to. But hey, Mr. Depp has no shortage of homes or money or resources, so we could all hope that once the dust settles soon after this trial ends, perhaps he could reclaim his time and his privacy and his energy and continue on with his life's journey. And I suppose we could all be grateful that his ex-wife didn't end up with any of these houses either. And so this concludes this micro lesson about Johnny Depp's North Sweetser neighborhood. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.